Ah, good morning, everyone. Mark here on the Culinary Compass. And uh, I am back at my favorite cafe here in Amsterdam, a creature of habit. And uh, I'm flying to Berlin today, later on. But, um, I figured today I will treat myself a little bit to, uh, to this. You see this? Everywhere I have been going in Amsterdam, today, yesterday, I have been seeing this sitting all over the place. I never knew until the last time I was here with the family that, in fact, the apples here in this uh, country are spectacular, and they specialize in apple pie. This apple pie is made here at the cafe every single night, and uh, it's fresh and warm in the morning. I, of course, usually do not do with green, but I don't know. Why not? How do you call this in? Come bend down and say hello to my, my friends. Hello. So, how do you call this in Dutch? Apple tart. With Come a little closer so that you can see. Apple it. tart with slagroom. And apple tart is easy. Apple tart. And what, how do you say this one? The whipped cream. Slagroom. Slagroom. Yeah. And what does that mean? Is it There's two whipped words? Cream. Whipped, whipped cream. Whipped cream. Okay. So, let's see what we got. Mm. Oh. Um, I wish I knew how to say that in Dutch. Okay. However, there's worth in me having brought this to the table and talked to you about it because we can learn something by this. And with a little cream. For this apple pie, the cream is absolutely necessary. And if you take a look at the pie, you'll see the apples are kind of very large. The thing that I find notable, and as I look inside the pie, I can see what's going on. Basically, they toss these apples in an enormous amount of cinnamon. Very cinnamony. And I can tell you, there's some raisins in there. There's, maybe there's a little bit of sugar with the apples. But I think we're talking about an incredible pie shell. You can see how thick it is. But it is not sweet at all. Um, and with the cream, that really rounds it out because there's that kind of thing that the cream does to your tongue. You know, it makes love to your tongue. For me personally, I prefer this, and I think I would I would challenge you to try this. If you make apple pies, go ahead, cut out butter and sugar and anything else you add to the apples, and just add the cinnamon. But I will say, you probably won't enjoy it unless you have some cream on the side. Okay, so for the culinary compass, you can see I found a much more efficient way to eat this product. Uh, ciao for now.